that, Stacy. Now he knows. Now he knows that I am a down ass bitch. Hey, I'm leaving. But I had a great time tonight, and I just want you guys to know that I've been watching you for the last 20 minutes, and it's clear that your souls ain't right. I think you need Jesus. If you want to do this again, call me. Ashe. Good night, guys. Blessings, queen. Good job, mom. Good job, mom. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching it. Uh, you guys were fun to watch it with. Thanks for hanging out, you know? So, uh, family, what you guys think about Three Ways? I thought it was very interesting. <laughs> an interesting <laughs> film that you created here, my friend. It was wild. That's yeah. a good word, wild. I was super invested because I wanted the threesome to happen, mm -hmm. but I was also upset about all the things that they were doing that were making the threesome not happen. Mm -hmm. I definitely like the way that you told the story between the three main characters who are trying to have a threesome with each other and uh, their insecurities, their thoughts, their concerns about one another. I thought that was a well-executed way to do it. Appreciate it. And it was some what the f moments too, wasn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. There, there are things that like a lot of the men were like, yeah, you know what I mean, bro? Like blah, blah. And us as women were like, girl, please be for real. Like who is doing that? But it was good. It was balanced. You got to see everybody's perspective. I thought the most interesting part was the three different perspectives because you wouldn't think that, at least for me, I didn't think one of the girls would have been as insecure as she was because she was just a boss and just like really into her femininity and her sexuality. But to find out that they all were just in their head, oh, yeah. it's just it just shows how human we are regardless of the situation. I didn't think the guy would be as afraid as he was. I mean, I'm thinking if you, you know, if you if you set this up, then you should be ready. But yeah, I guess that was fun. You should be able Put to it down. Yeah. You know? I think you did a sex scene funny. I don't think I don't think I've ever seen a sex scene that wasn't like overly like ambitious. Where you're just like, okay, that's weird. we're we're getting into territory where it's just like hacky or something. I thought that the sex scene was very funny. I feel like you represented a woman a lot in there. Like they had their their point of view. They had their whole stories. How, how did you tap into that? Did you hire a woman? Did you did you write that? I, I wrote it, man. I wrote it, but it's listening too. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Inspired mm -hmm. by what? Others. You listen to women? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. That sometimes, works for you? <laughs> sometimes, but yeah, man. It was really just it's listening and and for me, like knowing the characters, like like for me, like as a writer, basing characters off real people mm -hmm. helps keep it authentic. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, even if they're you know if they're not in that situation, but if I base it off a real person, or even though that person's gonna read it. I kind of like, you know, make sure that they're represented yeah. properly. Mm -hmm. you know? My favorite part of the film was watching Tony support his sexually free and explorative fiance. I think men should take a note out of that book. Sure, it was strange. It was weird. It was it was so interesting. So it was so unusual to watch him do that. But I think more men should allow, um, not allow, excuse me. Ah, Lorraine would have my head. More men should, um, be open to allowing their partner to be sexually explorative and bring more partners in. I think that was really important to see, to to support women's sexuality and the freedom of it. The dick Ricky was hysterical. Like that, that was, that was very, that was very unexpected. And Tony really was like, nah, bro, your sacral chakra, like, let me help you out. That was really funny. And for him to be sitting out there, it was like, nigga, what are you doing? Like that was, that was a nice touch. Yeah. Let me help you out, young blood. I thought that's all I, that's all I could hear you. <laughs> I think it's important that we see black men like in like vulnerable situations. And like, yeah, he was kind of a little uncomfortable at the beginning, but also at the end, like he was happy. He had that release. He was like, I'm ready to do this thing. Um, and that like male to male camaraderie, like vulnerability, it's necessary, it's important. Open up, men. My favorite part of the film was definitely the ending. I just loved how she just, I just felt like I was stressed for Stacy through the whole <laughs> movie. And by the end, it was just a relief and just watching her face and just calling her friend. I was like, well, we made it. Yeah, she got her power back. She was so afraid in the beginning to try something that she never tried before. And then when she tried it, she felt liberated in a sense. She felt like she was a different version of herself. And you got to see this glow about her in 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 the car. And she did it to keep her man. And then she kind of freed herself at the end. It was the weirdest thing, but it was great. <laughs>